Hello everybody. I, we are going to start something new tonight. Um, so this is our first time, so it'll probably be a little bumpy as we get it figured out. I'm Christy Peterson from Vintage Books. Um, and we are doing a reading challenge this year. Um, I took a picture of it. So I'm going to hold it up for just a second so you can kind of peek at it. Um, we are doing a reading challenge this year. Uh, we thought this might be something that was a little more accessible to people than a book club because book clubs you've got to read the book by a certain time and you have to get in your car and drive down to the store and that's been hard for people I think so we thought it would be a little bit uh fun to just put a reading challenge out there uh, let people decide what books they want to do to to uh uh, for to fill each category and when they want to read them and what order they want to read them. So we thought that it might be kind of fun just to check in every week at about this time. Uh, we do I do the Vintage Books Live um, interviews at 7 p.m. on Tuesdays, um, and I'll talk more about that later. But um, I thought 6.30 is, you know, if somebody wants to do that and then watch the Vintage Books Live, and then it's easy for me to do that and then jump right into the other thing as well. Um, so... Um, I just wanted to jump on and say, here's what I'm getting myself in for. Um, and I would love to have you, um, all just kind of, uh, let me know what you're reading too, as we go along. I am going to commit myself this year to my literal white whale for the, uh, classics section. <laughs> I've been trying to breed Moby Dick since college. Um, I get about the same place in the book, and then I sort of peter out. Um, and we won't talk about how long ago <laughs> college was, but it was a while back, and I was supposed to read it for my English major, and I didn't. Um, the funny story I always tell is my English professor told us that if we finished the whole book, that he would get a, give us a pin that said, I read the whole thing. And by the end of the time that we were studying Moby Dick, he said, if you've read half the book, I'll give you a pin. And I don't think anybody got any pins. So, so this year, I'm going to do it. So that's what I'm using to fill in the um, classic slot. Um, and I haven't dived into that one yet. But sorry. another one that I'm going to do, um, I also had a slot of... I haven't quite decided whether this is going to be my nonfiction book about an unfamiliar topic or the the author different cultural background but this has been in this came in the store in December and I've been intrigued by Thich Nhat Khan for a while um Pepper who also works at the store is a really big fan of his and really likes his writing so this was just it's divided up into small daily readings so I thought that would be a fun way just to kind of jump in and read it and get that experience so um, I don't think it's in the store right now, but we're ordering more because we sold them all, uh, including mine. So that's what I'm going to start with. I'd love to know uh, what you all are starting with. I know I did that because I keep seeing wave <laughs> where we can wave to each other uh, pop up on the screen. But um, I think that you can comment in the comments. So if you would like to just pop in and say, hey, this is what I'm reading. Um, just to let us know what you're reading right now, that would be awesome. Um, what I'm actually reading right now, I did start the Thich Nhat Hanh book because it's like one reading a day. I started that yesterday. What I'm actually reading right now, I don't really think fits anything in the in the challenge just yet, but I am reading The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches, and it's a cozy, um, cozy fantasy, contemporary fantasy. Um, it has a touch of romance in it, but it's just kind of like a hug or a tea, you know, cup, warm cup of tea. Um, I am, and it just was a nice way to start. It's just a nice way to start off the year because it's a, just very sweet and not too stressful. <laughs> so after the holidays, what are you going to do? That's kind of what we need. But, um, so I just, that's what, um, uh, that's what I'm reading. Um, and like I said, I'd love to hear what you're reading either in the comments of the chat if you want to say you know say hey i'm reading this or if you want to comment um in the comments after i post this to the instagram page that would be awesome and just like 
this could be a place for encouraging each other when we're reading books, um, uh, looking for the post every week and just kind of seeing how everybody's doing with the reading. Um, if you are interested in a virtual book club, do let me know in the comments because that's also something that I've thought about doing. Um, the in-store ones I think are really hard for people, especially since we're not open late in the evening. And so they usually end up having to be late afternoon, which I know for people who are out working is not super convenient. So do let me know if you'd be interested in an evening book club about either a specific genre or just a general one like this where everybody can pop in and just say, hey, I'm reading this thing. Because we can always do like a, a, um, a monthly or bi-weekly or whatever um, Zoom group too, if anybody is interested. So do please let me know. Um, and I'm going to wrap it up tonight because I just, it'll, we'll keep these short just to jump on and say, here's what's going on. Here's what we're reading. And I just wanted to let everybody know also what's happening at the store. Uh, we are kicking off, um, our Vintage Books Live interviews, which are once a week interviews, roughly once a week, uh, with local, mostly local authors. Although I have been able to bring in some people that are a little bit further afield. Um, we talk anywhere from a half an hour to 45 minutes usually. Sometimes it goes a little longer if we get going. Um, but our first uh, author is next Tuesday. Um, it's David D. Levine, and he has written a book called, and I'm just going to like, <laughs> as soon as I said that, it went out of my head. He has a new book out. He is a sci-fi writer. He has won the Hugo and Nebula Awards with his Arabella of Mars series, which came out in the mid sort of 20 teens. Um, but this is an, I believe it's going to be a new series and it's called the Kuiper Belt Job. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. As soon as I started to say what it was, it went out of my head. And it's kind of like um, heist. It's a kind of a heist novel. Um, it's about a gang of people who... Uh, had a heist gone wrong in their past and they get together again 10 years later and what I'm really interested to talk to him about is the fact that what he chose to do is each chapter is from a different part different character in the group's point of view so that's a, a less common way of um, doing point of view so I'm really excited to him to, to talk to him about that and ask him you know why he made that choice and and so I'd love for you to join me. That's generally what we do in those interviews is I kind of, I ask them about the book and how they came up with the idea. And we talk a little bit about their craft and and how they structure their writing days and and how they um, go about doing, you know, are they a plotter or a pantser and, and, and how their writing life is and, and how they organize their thoughts and now that kind of stuff um so it's just fun it's fun to get a little peek behind the scenes of people who are writing and um that same day our book clubs um kick off for the year um the mystery the cozy mystery book club decided that they also wanted to do a magical mystery book club so they're going to do those back to back on the second tuesday of the month so It'll be 4 o'clock and 4.30, and the books they are reading, one, the Cozy Mystery is called Against the Current, and the Magical Mystery is called Accidental Magic, and I know they would love to have more people join. So if you are into cozy or magical mysteries, um, please do consider popping over there if you're available on Tuesday afternoons, the second Tuesday. Um, we have the books in the shop for you to purchase, but... No one's going to be grumpy if you show up and you haven't read the book or you haven't gotten to read all the book. They would just love to have you. So uh, we've got more stuff going on. We're going to have David Levine live in the store at the end of the month. And we have another uh, live event in February. So we're gearing back up again for a good year of books and authors and fun events. So I hope you will be able to join us. And I'm going to say good night tonight, but thank you so much for popping in. Um, do let me know what you're up to in book-wise this year in the comments, and we will talk to you next week. Bye-bye.